front of the relay with our configuration. To go in and do any control, we're going to press the enable control. Then we're going to see this kind of a, a screen. So our choices here are controlling breaker one or breaker two or the switch one operation. Uh, we assigned uh, push button four to be user push button nine and push button five to be user push button number 10. And in, an early, in the earlier configuration, we had configured those to be manual open and manual close. And we'll talk more about that in a moment, how it's configured. If we want to go ahead and control the breaker number one, we're going to select the button associated with it. And we'll see this kind of a screen. So we have choices to either cancel the operation, go ahead and open, close. There's a, there's a tag, a substitute and bypass that we've programmed so far. And I'll talk more about that in a moment. The, the tag, if you select it, gives you an opportunity to uh, inhibit the operation, both local and remote control of the breaker. The substitute replaces it with the manually operated value. Uh, and the bypass, once you enable it, it provides blocking of the open or closing of that particular breaker. So we come back here, we can go ahead and select the close. And it comes back and asks for a confirmation. You select confirm. And then the breaker status changes. Now, similarly, we had the user push button nine set up as the breaker open. So with that selected, we're, we're able to open the status of the breaker and selecting user push button number 10, which is assigned to close the breaker, gives us the status of the breaker closed. So a quick note, the open and close buttons are available when the push button control here is enabled. If this is switched to disabled, then, then the open and close tabs are not present.